डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू आर टू द इंडस्ट्रियल फॉर्मेसी थ्योरी क्लास दिस इज द सेकंड क्लास ऑफ फिफ्थ वीक एंड ओवरऑल लेक्चर नंबर टेन एंड दिस टेंथ लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस about the steroid product steroid area and microbial air classification dear students the main objective of this topic is to learn about the steroid product including the introduction of steroid product steroid area and microbial air classification in the steroid area uh, in the pharmaceutical industry after the uh, completion of uh, this lecture dear students you will be able to learn about the steroid products steroid area in the pharmaceutical industry and uh, microbial air classification before going to discuss the other terminology and other discussion and detail first of all we will try to learn about the steroid products steroid products are dosage forms of therapeutic agents that may be one or more than one therapeutic agent that is api active pharmaceutical ingredient it is responsible for the therapeutic activity of any dosage form and that are three form viable microorganism these are dosage form that are three form the viable microorganism the viable the viable microorganism means those microorganism which cause disease which cause the contamination in the organism the living one the example include solution irrigating preparation irrigating preparation as those preparations which are used for the cleaning of the wounds or any other surgical procedures uh, these are used ophthalmic preparation uh, that is the preparation used for the oil of formic uses these are the example of some steroid products it may be solution it may be suspension as well sometimes it will dry powder is reconstituted and these are also steroid and the pre formed the viable micro again another terminology that is used as parental product synonymously used injectables for parental parental preparations are also steroid erogen pre liquid uh, that may be solution emulsion or suspension or any solid dosage form that containing one or more active ingredient that is packaged in either single dose container are multi dose container there are some parent of formulation that are injected to various roots and the maybe either the single dose container if it is a single dose container and one dose is we dispense and then the container is being discarded as multi dose container that care should be taken to avoid the contamination and the product as well what is the difference between the steroid and parental product the question the answer of this question is you know that ophthalmic preparation or irrigating preparation these are steroid 
for irrigating preparations are not dispensed through the injection or syringe that's why these are sterile irrigating preparations are sterile but these are not parental for every parental product whatever it is solution it is emulsion or suspension or any solid dosage form either of the single dose container or the multi dose container it is mandatory to be sterile it should be free from the viable microorganism every parental is sterile but every sterile product is not parental every sterile product is not parental for example in food irrigating preparation these are sterile product but these are not parental one of tonic preparation sometimes injectable as a dispenser in the form of the injection uh of tonic injections are available but sometimes some of tonic preparation which are sterile free from the microorganism but these are not injected in the eye some other example of these sterile products include pharmaceutical products it means that sterile products as a broad terms or parental is suspected to the product that are sterile but these are injected and short word we can say that parental are injectables and sterile products are not mandatory to be injectable it may be non injectable products the other products include uh, in the category of distributed products that like, uh, are pharmaceutical products biological products diagnostic products some products are biologic and that uh, allergenic extracts that are used for the allergy uh, hypersensitivity reaction controlling some extracts are used uh, you can uh, whether these extracts these are allergenic extracts that is the nih national institute of health islamabad allergy center you can see allergenic extracts these are also sterile in nature if they are not sterile then uh, they must cause contamination they cause pyrexia in the patient as well the pharmaceutical products that having the radioactive isotopes that is uh, either for the diagnostic purpose or for the treatment these are also sterile in nature dental products if the dental products are not sterile uh, then they cause a uh, different uh, problem to the patient contamination in the oral cavity and uh, disease like hepatitis will be in the patient if they are not using the dental products and uh, their products are sterile Uh, mandatory for the product should be sterile. Genetically engineered or biotechnological products. There are different products which are genetically prepared, genetically modified formulations, and uh, biotechnologically, or uh, different biotechnological te techniques are used in those products. One of these example is insulin and liposome. Of the same as a drug delivery system, and where the lipid is incorporated, and the lipid products are also sterile. These are the list of some sterile products. These are essentially sterile. Now let us come toward the advantages of sterile products. There are different advantages of sterile products. If you use sterile products. looking on the basis of these advantages we prefer sterile products it is quick and next answer to fiction if it is like given through the injectable route and suitable for drugs which are not administered by oral route and injectable that is sterile in nature these are preferred if the patient is comatose or the patient has uh, 
not accepting the oral administration of drug then the deep spit formulation or dosage form that is the injectable or steroid product it is useful for unconscious or vomiting patient in majority cases when the patient are unconscious and the injectable is the preferred one it is vomiting and oral antec is difficult for the patient that is vomiting or nauseatic patient the preferred route is injectable route or the parenteral route and it is preferred or useful in this condition there are some patients who are unable to take the medication orally either of the in the form of the tablets or any other oral dosage form due to the unpleasant taste or swallowing problem in this case the injectable that are swallowed are preferred in emergency situation we will prefer to use the steroid products the patient the danger of the need a medius response of the drug the onset of quick action is possible by using the parenteral route in those patient there are different uh, nutritive requirements like the glucose and electrolytes for the bariatric patient the aged patient or for those patients who born and they need electrolytes and some other nutritional requirements in this case the tpn so you know about the tpn tpn stand for total parental nutrition and the formula is adjusted or the formulation is adjusted uh, according to the need and necessity of the patient and uh, nutritional requirements are given through the parental route in the form of the tpn uh, that is the total parental nutrition it is essential for the patient to take the nutritional requirements uh, in cases i have told you earlier that a patient is born or uh, he is weak and need electrolytes either he is uh, aged one and most of the aged patient lots of electrolytes in this case the suitable route is parenteral route parenteral route is also beneficial in case the drug have low solubility and low bioavailability because you know that by giving intravenous injection to any patient it means that is 100% bioavailable the drug has oral intake and then some of the quantity plus during the processing and the part of the drug that uh, reaches the systemic circulation or blood flow that is called as bioavailability and so uh, bioavailability become low in this case the parenteral dosage form is suitable to enhance the bioavailability of the drug which are low bioavailability drug there are different dosage form that can be used for the modified controlled nodal drug delivery system for this purpose uh, if the conventional dose dosage form is modified as like injection depot or some delayed action drug steroid products in the form of the injectables are useful these are the some of the advantages regarding the parental steroid products along with the advantages there are certain disadvantages due to which we will not prefer the steroid products which are that we use injectables that's uh, feeling the pain on the site of injection and sometimes there are some uh, allergic reaction at their site of injection and some patients are irritating by using the injectable even though they are adults 
but they feel on edginess during the injection the second main disadvantage is if we inject any drug to the patient to be administered a drug to the patient and uh, there are certain effects which are shown we cannot reverse this these effect because it uh, gets inside the systemic circulation or uh, inside the if we say that it is uh, intravascular we cannot reverse these effects as compared to the oral dosage form if we take tablet or gastric lavage may be occur and there are some certain other precautionary measure we can uh, exercise for the patient to get reverse the effects because the onset of infection in the oral dosage form the onset of infection the time to be taken to show the effect is more as compared to the steroid product there are certain patient feeling sensitivity or allergic reaction at the site of injection and they are skin reddening or there are some other sensitivity reaction so it is the main disadvantage of the steroid product if we use in the patient another restriction that is required to control the sterility of the product and uh, non pyrogenicity in other formulation the other formulation for example tablet or the suspension that is taken to be orally and these are not to well a parental the contamination control or condition for the controlling the sterility and uh, non pyrogenicity is much more low a strict condition should be followed for the steroid product because the chances of contamination the chances of loss of sterility is mandatory for the formulation it is mandatory to be sterile in nature and uh, it should be non pyrogenic if these are not sterile and these are pyrogenic one then they cause contamination and uh, temperature rise in the patient who take it another disadvantage is if we take tablet or any oral dosage form like suspension emulsion or other a syrup we can take independently without using any trained person or any proper technique we can take it easily but if we we are interested to take the medication in the form of the injectable then only trained person to know the skill and the techniques and sometimes the devices like the syringes or the needles these are required and uh, sometimes uh, it is uh, necessary to reconstitute our technique to prepare or formulate and administer drugs so these are the some extra requirements which are used uh, in the parental dosage form rather than the any other dosage form as you know that the sterile area is difficult to maintain and highly restricted area and it is difficult to design and establish the sterile manufacturing area and uh, that's why the cost is more and it is more expensive and costly compared to the any other formulation the second last disadvantage if we inject overdose of the drug to the patient in the form of the injectable it is very difficult to retrieve to into control and sometimes serious consequences as resulted due to the overdose of the injectable 
and the last one is root specific if we say that intramuscular sometimes it is mandatory to be injected through the intramuscular route if it is intravenous sometimes it is uh, injected through the intravenous or any other parental route these are root specific we cannot deliver some restriction are there in the uh, specific route for the parental product these are the some of the disadvantages of the sterile product there are certain products which are prepared for the eye and uh, though not introduced into the internal body cavity and uh, these preparation are also days ophthalmic preparation and uh, these are placed in contact with tissue of the eye that are very sensitive as you know that eye is the very sensitive part of the body and that's why it is necessary to control the contamination when ophthalmic preparation it is uh, mandatory to be sterile because of the very sensitive area of the body that is eye in this case to achieve the specification standard it is essential to follow the sop that is prepared for the sterile products and sterility must be maintained and the similar standards are required for ophthalmic preparation as well as that is for the sterile products or parental products there are certain other dosage form like the sterile irrigating solution which are sterile or non pyrogenic or tonic solution these are also tonic one and these are also prepared under sterile condition and uh, these sterile irrigating solutions are generally employed for washing irrigation and rinsing purposes especially in the wound especially in the emergency and uh, in the surgical procedures the irrigating solutions are these are the sterile irrigating solutions and uh, strict condition are followed to maintain the uh, sterility of the sterile irrigating solution irrigation are also required to meet the same standard as parental solution because during an irrigation procedure substantial amount of this solution can enter the blood stream that i have told you earlier that these are used in the emergency situations in the surgical procedures and if these are not prepared under the same standard then there will be chances of the substantial amount of this solution can enter the blood stream directly through open blood vessel of wound or abraded mucous membrane and they can cause serious consequences that's why the same standard is that for parental solutions preparation or parental formulation similar standards and conditions are also required for preparing the irrigating solution parental doses form are required to be injected directly into the body and blood stream it is required to be free from the viable microbial contamination and secondly it should comply with the requirement of particulate matter the limit of particulate matter we will discuss in this chapter at the end that what is particulate matter and what are the different sources of particulate matter and we will discuss in detail the contamination that 
what is contaminant and what are the different sources of contamination and the pharmaceutical industry and how we will control the contamination either the airborne control or the personal bar control should be followed in the pharmaceutical industry specifically in the sterile manufacturing unit of the pharmaceutical industry in addition to requirement of fsa pyrogen is also mandatory for the parental doses form because these are injected directly into the blood stream as systemic circulation these are the three parameters which are essential or required to be followed while formulating the parental dosage form in the pharmaceutical industry now let's toward the new topic of this chapter that is the clean room and what is clean room and how it is classified clean rooms in pharmaceutical industry are areas which are specially designed to reduce and eliminate particulate and microbial contamination in the environment used for manufacturing of pharmaceutical dosage form it means that these are the areas or rooms which are classified according to the requirements for the pharmaceutical dosage form and uh, the aim of this is to reduce and eliminate the particulate matter and uh, microbial contamination in the specific environment in which manufacturing of the pharmaceutical dosage form are done now let come toward the classification of clean rooms or areas there are four main classes of clean areas that is used in the pharmaceutical industry there are several other areas but these four areas are classes are utilized in the pharmaceutical industry the first one is class a that is equivalent to class 100 area the second class of the clean room that is class b that is equivalent to class 1000 area and the third one is class c that is equivalent to class 10000 and the fourth one that is class d that is equivalent to class 100000 as well remember that iso designation to the above is are the first that is class a area that is fp say that it is iso designation so iso designation for the class a area is 5 for class b area the iso designation there is a internal tender organization uh, that is uh, class b area that is according to the iso designation that is called as class 5 area while the third area that is termed as class c area according to iso designation that is termed as 7 class d is iso designated as 8 and there are certain european guidelines that i have told you earlier this class a class b class c class d these are the european guidelines are according to the european classification the four areas are classified as class a b class c and class d these are european guidelines while the another one that i have told you above that class a equivalent to class 100 class b equivalent to class 1000 equivalent to class 10000 the class 100 class 1000 class 10000 class 100000 uh, these are the specification or classification according to the united state classification that is uh, clear and no need of confusion that we can classify the clean rooms into four basic classes according to the european guidelines these are class a class b class c class d and according to the iso designation these four classes are 
फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड एट रेस्पेक्टिवली वायल अकॉर्डिंग टू द यूनाइटेड स्टेट क्लासिफिकेशन दीज फोर क्लासेज ऑफ क्लीन एरियाज आर क्लीन रूम्स आर एज क्लास हंड्रेड क्लास थाउजेंड क्लास टेन थाउजेंड एंड क्लास हंड्रेड थाउजेंड एज वेल फिराइल एरिया एज डेट एरिया विच इज फ्री फ्राम आल वाइबल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड इट इज क्लासीफाइड अकॉर्डिंग टू द एफ डी एंड आई सो पार्टिकुलेट एंड माइक्रोवियल एयर क्लासीफिकेशन एफ वी क्लासीफाई द एयर क्लासीफिकेशन इज डन ऑन द बेस ऑफ एफ डी एंड आई सो पार्टिकुलेट दैन दीज एरिया स्पेसिफिकेशन आर एंड शोन इन द टेबल on the left side you can see a clean area classification having a 0.5 micron particle per cubic feet this is a clean area if the clean area uh, has 100 particle per cubic feet having the size of 0.5 micron it will be termed as class 100 area and also designation will be 0 and uh, you can also use the other designation that is the european that is class a or according to the united state class 100 it is also used for that one but we can use the european standard class a for this one as well the first one and uh, in the third row you can see more than 0.5 micron particle per cubic meter This amount is three thousand five hundred and twenty particles per cubic meter. That having the size more than point five micron. If it is more than that one, then that will be not class hundred area. And microbial air active air action levels. That is colony farming unit per cubic meter. If we take the sample of air, and uh, there will be no uh, nil amount of the Colony farming unit per cubic meter, and uh, as well as the last one, it is the microbiological settling plates action level, and that plates having the diameter 90 mm, and uh, colony farming unit for four hours are performed for that one. There will be uh, no in the first one. Let's come towards the second class. So it is thousand area, thousand area that is also termed as according to the ISO designation. It is six, and uh, the particle per cubic meter having the size more than 0.5 micron. The limit is uh, 35,200, and the microbial active air action level, colony farming unit cap per cubic meter, it is seven. Seven colony farming unit per cubic meter. That is the limit, and the microbiological setting plate action level having the diameter of the plate 90 mm, and the colony farming unit for four hours at three. And uh, then the 10,000 area, and the you can see from top to bottom. the contamination the particle limits in top less and in the from top to bottom they are increasing it means that the highly restricted area that is also from the class 100 area class a area or also designation 5 area that is used for the manufacturing of the parental product wherever the manufacturing products uh, manufacturing pure products are prepared or formulated in the area a highly restricted area will be used for this purpose to achieve class 100 condition that i have told you that is class 100 condition according to iso designation this is designated as pio the more than 5 micron particles per cubic meter chances are 3520 particles and uh, no amount of the colony farming unit per cubic meter as well as the colony farming for 4 hours in that area negligible amount 
of this is that one and to achieve this area hyper filters are required for incoming air it enters inside the pharmaceutical industry or pharmaceutical plant and we are claiming that it is a class 100 area we should install the HEPA filter for this purpose to come toward the HEPA HEPA you should write HEPA each in the capital word rather than using the H capital and uh, the rest of three EPA small that is for the hepatic as well and HEPA HEPA stands for high efficiency particulate air filter these are defined as 99.99 percent are more efficient and the moving from the air 0.3 micron particle at the particle having the size 0.3 micron and uh, it should be 99.99 percent or more efficiently removed if it is removed by a filter then that filter will be definitely hyper filter that is high efficiency particulate air filter and one such series air from the outside first is passed through a free filter in the pharmaceutical industry you can see that that is a free filter that is designed as a blower is there and have a filter is also got uh, air flow inside the uh, pharmaceutical industry coming toward this one the free filters are installed uh, prior to the blower and the HEPA filter and what is the need of this filter it is termed as pre filter it is uh, made up of usually glass wool or cloth the purpose of this pre filter in the pharmaceutical front entry uh, in the specific sterile area to remove larger particles pre filters are installed and it is made up of glass wool or cloth the purpose of this is to remove large particles references uh, you can consult Remington the science and factors of pharmacy 21st edition pages 18 14 to 18 17 Lakeman Leverman 3rd edition pages 639 or 61 the preparation by the Tarko and Kennedy Sterile dosage form, the preparation and clinical application, and uh, pages 63 64. Thank you all for your attention. Uh, overview of this lecture. In this lecture, we have told to discuss about the sterile product, the photosterile products, along with the parental products, and what is the difference between the sterile products and Parental products, some example of the steroid products, advantages of the steroid products, that why we prefer steroid or parental products, and some of the disadvantages of the parental products, that what are the difficult problems associated with using this type of the dosage form, and I have also told you about the ophthalmic products or ophthalmic preparation which are even though not used for the or introduced inside the body cavity but remember that these are prepared under the strict condition as standard that is followed for the sterile or parental products We also discuss about the irrigating solution, that is the irrigating solution and uh, the uses of the irrigating solution and if we not follow the SOPs, the condition that we use for the sterile products, the parental products and what will be the, the con consequences and uh, it will become dangerous because in the irrigating procedure the substantial amount of the solution that can enter inside the bloodstream directly by uh, through passing through the open blood vessel up wounds or a bread and mucous membrane 
and they can cause a contamination, vibration, and uh, similar restriction. A standard should be followed for the irrigating solution as well as uh, that for the steroid products or the parental formulation. And I have told you about the three parameters that are very much essential for preparing the parental dosage form. And it should be free from viable microorganism contamination and uh, it should comply with the requirement of the particulate matter for small volume parental and for large volume parental the particulate matter and the particulate matter limit and the size of the particulate matter and these are the insoluble organic matter inside the formulation it should be also required and meet the complication that should be avoided and uh, particulate matter should be within the limit specified in the official monogram. In addition to these two requirements, the absence of pyrogen should be there because you, you know that pyrogen, uh, the product containing pyrogen, pyrogen is the substances or the agent that cause the pyrexia or the body rising temperature. If these are injected and they contain the pyrogen and definitely they will cause the body temperature rise inside the patient. After that I have told you the clean room, the what is clean room and what is the purpose of clean room. The clean room and the pharmaceutical industry are specially designed rooms which are to reduce the contamination and eliminate particulate and microbial contamination in that environment and which the pharmaceutical dosage forms are prepared. Remember that positive pressures are developed in the highly restricted area that is the class area. The pressure should be maximum that is the positive pressure. Positive pressure means that I, I say that uh, positive pressure in room 1 it means that the air inside the room can rush out but outside air cannot enter inside the room 1. Between the two adjacent room the positive pressure difference should be uh, there. The maximum pressure will be in the class A and then when the followed by the B and then the C and uh, the minimum one will be in the D. The class A area that is a highly restricted area, highly sure area and uh, positive pressure should be there, the maximum pressure should be there as compared to the B and uh, in the B maximum pressure should be there as compared to C. And remember that air lock systems are installed in the pharmaceutical industry to avoid the contamination. The automatically installed locking system are there. I have told you about the sterile area, the FDA isoparticulate and microbial air classification, the different classes. I have told you about the HEPA filter, that what is the efficiency of HEPA filter and uh, how much particle size, that is a 0.3 micron particles should be removed efficiently, it is more than 99.9% or more than 99.9% efficiency of the HEPA filter. And uh, at the end I have told you about the pre-filter, why pre-filter are installed in the pharmaceutical industry and what is the basic purpose and this diagram it is shown the blower, the pre-filter, the HEPA filter and protective screen and air flow. Remember that in the pharmaceutical industry the highly restricted area in the uh, sterile area the unidirectional air flow is recommended to avoid the contamination and the pre-filter 
it is made up of either glass wool or cloth and the purpose of this is to remove large particles inside the room and finally about the references from where it is taken thank you all for your attention uh, we will discuss in the online google meet class as well thank you all for your attention